Here's something I want to show you that we've got exclusively. This is going to start airing broadly tomorrow. There's a pretty significant ad buy behind it, and so you'll likely see it circulating tomorrow. I say that with a little bit of surprise because, to be honest, we had to double, triple check with the lawyers to see if we were even allowed to play this ad on TV. Turns out we are allowed to play it. Um, and so I'm going to show it to you. Again, it's coming out broadly tomorrow. We've got it here exclusively tonight. This is, I guess, the world premiere. And I'll tell you, this it's not gory or sweary or upsetting or anything, but it's a little, it's a little edgy. <laughs> I think that's the right word. See what you think. Watch. Is your democracy flaccid? Trouble maintaining a strong coalition? Tired of the parade of disappointing performances? Then you might be one of the 330 million Americans suffering from electile dysfunction. I get all excited about a new bill. The debate gets all hot and heated. We'll move things to the floor. And right when we're about to achieve a joint resolution, bam. Total government shutdown. Premature capitulation. I don't know, every time I get an election, I think maybe this time will be different. Filibusting just doesn't make me feel good anymore. It's embarrassing, okay? Fortunately, there's the Freedom to Vote Act. The Freedom to Vote Act? What's the Freedom to Vote Act? The Freedom to Vote Act, what does that mean? The Freedom to Vote Act ends your tired, sagging, floppy relationship with politics by making Election Day a holiday across the country, banning gerrymandering, expanding voter access, increasing integrity, blocking foreign interference, empowering everyday citizens, and healing our democracy. Now my election is rock solid, and it works everywhere. Oh, it works everywhere. And it's safe. It used to take me forever to find the location. To, to vote. vote. <laughs> but with the FTVA, we have all day to get to the polls. And it only takes two minutes. Which I prefer, honestly. She really does. The Freedom to Vote Act is only for democracies healthy enough for electoral activity. Talk to your representative if you are experiencing greased palms, lined pockets, dictators, neo-fascists, or other pre-existing conditions, as you may not be healthy enough for the FTVA. Passing FTVA may cause an increase in being heard, power, a full expression of your inalienable rights, representation, and a rare federal condition called accountability. If you experience voting lines that last over four hours, call your senator, as they have not passed the FTVA. Talk to your senator about the Freedom to Vote Act and demand safer and more satisfying elections today. Admit it, that's very well done. Uh, Represent Us is a good government group. They're an anti-corruption group. My favorite, <laughs> my favorite parts are the sad Twizzler. <laughs> I will never eat a Twizzler again without laughing at it. Um, also, this if you do, I don't know if you noticed there was a lot going on, but the subtitles are really funny. Must be 18 years or older to vote. Ask your doctor if a stable functioning democracy is right for you. A peaceful transition of power is necessary for sustained representation. Um, that one they don't even read, it just runs across the bottom and then there's this one. Side effects may also include civic satisfaction, increased prosperity, ordinances established, blessings secured, faith renewed, and post-election clarity. <laughs> mm. Talk to your representative if you're experiencing greased palms, lined pockets, dictators, neo-fascists, or other pre-existing conditions. You may not be healthy enough for passing the Freedom to Vote Act. It's very good. Anyway, that's going live tomorrow from Represent Us, uh, trying to keep the pressure on to pass the Freedom to Vote Act uh, to protect the freedom to vote. Um, 